Hi friends, Fagun Shah from Integration Lab here. So today we are going to see how can you generate certificates and send them on a WhatsApp using Public Connect and Google Slides. Okay, and we also going to use uh, 360 Dialog as a WhatsApp WhatsApp's official API to send the WhatsApp messages and the PDF. Okay. So let's see the demo first, right? This is something which is not very popular currently inside uh, Pabli, but it is kind of, you know, like a hidden feature. Okay. So let's see the demo first. So we are going to copy the form URL and in here we will just open a new tab and our form has only two uh, fields one is email address and another one is file now if you are going to use google form as a trigger you uh, the user needs to be signed in to submit the form okay uh, because we need to upload they need to upload the file so it will first upload the file to their google drive and then send it in here right so what we are going to do here is we are just going to use this email address we are going to add file and we were going to use previously selected so let me select uh, fagunsha.jpg right i am going to select that i am going to submit the form so let's see the results in whatsapp so here you can see here is the result in whatsapp uh, if we click on the download and we will save the file in the downloads and then we will open the file in google chrome so this will be the result the final result right so as you can see the name is here the grade is here and the photo is also here right you can customize this uh, certificates as per your requirement there is no limitations on like how much you can design it okay the only thing you need to do is you need to have one image in here uh, somewhere on the certificate and the name and the grade variable right so let's now see that how can we achieve this exact thing right so the first thing in the workflow let's move to the public connect workflow and the first thing the workflow as you can see here is that we are using a google form as a trigger right so we have one sheet where we are saving the google form data like this okay so anytime someone uploads a file or you can say the picture of them then it will save it here like this okay because this is how the form structure is so one email and the file part okay and we have already set up the public connect webhook as you can see the trigger column is c and the webhook is already set up in here okay it won't show it here because i am logged in using multiple ids right but the webhook is set up if you don't know how to set up the google sheet as a trigger make sure you watch my google sheet uh, video i will leave the link in the description okay so once we set up the google sheet as a trigger the next step is like whenever there is a new row it will send data to public connect right and then what we want to do is we want to split this uh, id part so uh, everything after id is equal to is important for us okay why i will tell you in just a moment but we want to split that part that's why we are using text formatter okay and split text is the action event name right so we have mapped the the image url part of google drive in the text to split field then we are using separator uh, question mark id is equal to because we want everything after this question mark id is equal to and we are only picking the last part okay we do not want anything before those thing so we will only be picking the last part right which is the this id then now we are going to share that file publicly okay to anyone anyone with the link can uh, view right so here is the uh, we are passing the id by mapping the id like this okay this is from step two and once we do that we will be able to 
upload that file to the free account of imgur okay so as you can see this is a special kind of you know direct url which allows you to upload the file to from google drive as well right generally people tell you that google file uh, google image file cannot be directly accessed or there is no direct url right for uploading or downloading but this is the type of url which we you, we can use inside uploading or you know like sending attachments in the gmail as well the url structure will be the same only the id part will be the dynamical thing okay then we are mapping the name we need to name our image so i am just mapping the email address id this is just for like testing purpose that is why okay you can map it properly and once we do that we actually receive the direct link of the image okay now once we receive that direct link of image we are going to also find the grade of the student from the email id right so teachers most of the time have some kind of you know like result sheet so this is the that uh, result sheet if someone submit a form with uh, this particular email id in the fifth step in the fifth step it will go to that particular grade sheet it will look up the email column from this one and it will get all the details from that particular row for that email address right so in that this case for testing purpose we are using shafagun android at gmail.com and we are getting back grade name and the email address all three things right and based on that we have already created one uh, template certificate inside the google drive okay as you can see we have two variables name and grade right and we also have one image right uh, this is a 512 by 512 image actually the aspect ratio is the only thing you need to take care of okay the resolution doesn't matter it will auto uh, reset the resolution by that particular size on the canvas right but make sure the aspect ratio should uh, stay the same that is why i have mentioned that resolution should be 512 by 512 okay and basically what we are doing is creating a presentation from a template so we are going to use this template and what we want is the name should be replaced by that student's name and the grade should be uh, replaced by the grade we just looked up in the google sheet okay the result sheet so we are passing those variables okay we are saving them to a particular format uh, folder the folder can be whatever you want to select uh, the choice is yours right and once we do that we actually get the presentation id it is called presentation id or you can also call it a file id right now the image part is not done in this particular create presentation from template a step okay for image part you actually need to use another action called upload image in presentation right first of all we will map it because we are getting the id from the above step so it will be dynamically mapped the template presentation is actually the id of the presentation we just created from the template so it's it is a template from the template right and then we are choosing the image replace method i always choose the center inside because this is the best one i think so in my opinion and then we are passing the imgur direct link of image okay google slide doesn't take the google drive image link actually that is why we uploaded it to imgur and then we are passing the direct link of the image in here okay after doing that we are again sharing that particular file to anyone with the link why because we actually want to send it on a whatsapp and to send it on a whatsapp from google drive as a pdf we actually need to have a pdf link and second it should be a public link uh, so we can send it over a whatsapp right so this particular action will solve that for us right share a file with anyone and we are going to pass the same id from the se seventh step then we are using the 360 dialog step where we are sending the pdf file to a whatsapp number right so we have selected the template like participation certificate 
okay and we are also passing some variables down here right but this is the main part where we are passing the actual pdf url now you just need to map the pdf url from the it step where you are actually uh, convert uh, sharing it with anyone okay the you are sharing the presentation we just created from the templates to anyone and we are passing that url in here and it should send it to the whatsapp number okay so i hope this tutorial will help you the best use cases i can find for this was something like you know uh, there are some kind of uh, competition in the office like hr uh, organize those kind of competition all the time right like every two or three months in the office that they play some kind of game and then based on that they want uh, they create a google sheet and they want to send the certificate for everyone right like certificate of participation not the certificate of winning right uh, there can be another thing as well like uh, you want to generate uh, you know result card for student with their images right so in that case students can upload the images and their email address okay they can submit that in the form and once that is submitted they can uh, send it to uh, they can receive the certificate or result card on their whatsapp number in a pdf format okay so yeah this is how it is going to work so let me show you one or two more example about the same okay so i am going to pass the name as yesh and sorry actually 2912 at gmail.com i need to pass the email address and then i am going to upload some of the image from my uh, system and these are the just image generated by uh, one free website which generates uh, you know like fake images okay so i'm going to upload it the name is people one okay i am going to submit it and now we are going to wait for the uh, workflow to complete the their thing okay so we should be waiting in here it is 11 12 11 was the last message and it is 12 24 right now so let's see what happens and yeah here we are with the certificate as you can see certificate for yash we are going to download it and in the end we are going to open it as well and you can see the image is got changed right so it is a dynamic kind of thing another use case i can think of is like uh, sometimes the marketers want to generate their you know own uh, documents in that case you can allow them to upload their own logos or other images and it can generate their own presentations and other things like that okay so yeah this is how it can be useful i hope this helps you and if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel okay and press the bell icon so you can get notified and in case you want me uh, want to hire me you can always contact me on my facebook profile right my facebook profile url and you can uh, connect me via messenger okay right so yeah see you in the next video guys let me know if you have any questions or something like that okay uh, if you decide to purchase probably make sure i have a affiliate link in the description so you can use that and support me as well right so goodbye for now see you in the next video